was April 21st, 1045 p.m. in 2021. Stephen Ely will never forget that date and time as long as he lives. That's when he was hit during a shooting spree in the gas lamp three years ago. Me a year to recover, the bullet went through my appendix, in and out of the appendix and uh, lost part of my kidney and it lodged in my spine that couldn't get it out because of the blood loss. The shooter in that incident who killed one and injured four others used a ghost gun. Both the city and the county of San Diego have drawn a line in the sand on banning the firearms. On Friday, the county filing its first lawsuit against a ghost gun company. And we're not going to be looking the other way. We're going to be coming after them. Supervisor Tara Lawson-Reamer tells ABC 10 News the lawsuit claims the company, Defense Distributed, has been illegally marketing and selling a machine designed to make ghost guns in California. It also alleges the company was banned from selling that machine, but rather than stop, it just rebranded it and called it a different name. We know exactly what this machine is for. We know exactly what kind of codes and manufacturing come embedded in what the machine is capable of producing. And you can't uh, put lipstick on a pig, frankly. Lawson Reamer's office says this is the first lawsuit to come about since a 2022 policy she led to legally go after these kinds of gun manufacturers. We're telling them loud and clear that there will be no ghost guns and no illegal distribution of firearms allowed on our watch here in the state of California. While it may be the first suit of its kind by the county, Ely tells me this kind of legal effort has to start somewhere. The ghost gun violence is just being proliferated by the ease at which people can get guns. They're just so easy to get. You've got to stop someone.